This is a tutorial about Visio 2010 connectors and connection points. This is an advanced series and it's about the use of the shape sheet. It's just a blank sheet in uh, Visio. And we're going to do just a little bit of demonstration here. And let's draw a shape. And we're going to put some connection points in here. I'm going to make this shape. Fill just to make things a little easier to see. And we'll put some connection points. And we'll draw one other shape. And put some connection points here. We make new connectors. Okay, this is pretty standard looking stuff. Now what we're going to do a little differently here is uh, we're going to look at uh, exactly where these connection points are uh, using uh, what's called a shape sheet, which is kind of like a, a registry for the ZO. And it contains information about every shape, page, and document. Now uh, this doesn't show uh, normally in Visio, so in order to see the shape sheet, we're going to have to go to the options, and then advanced, and uh, we'll go down to the bottom here and see a checkbox for run in developer mode. Now, as soon as we do that, we get a new tab in Visio right here. And we also get, uh, when we right click on a shape, we have an option to show a shape sheet. And that's what we're going to do. So this is the shape sheet. And just to make this a little bit easier to see, uh, there's a number of sections here that determine the size of the shape, its formatting. A lot of things are listed in here, how the shape behaves, character formatting, text block formatting, events, I mean, all kinds of things in here. But the ones that we're particularly interested in right now, and that tend to be the most useful, for, at least for our purposes, are this list of connection points. So I'm um, going to scroll up a little bit here and so we're just going to be focused on the connection point list right here. Now we're looking at this object and this is showing us five connection points which are what you're seeing and these are formulas for how the points are located and they're based on the height of the object and the width of the object. So you're seeing there's multipliers for the width and height of the object. This is why when you make a shape larger by just dragging a corner, uh, what happens is these move because the location is based on the width and the height. It's not a fixed uh, place in there. But we're looking at the shape sheet can help you with if you're trying to line up all your connection points that they're all in a row, they line up evenly, and you click on a shape, and, and they're just not quite in the right spot, and it's hard to get them there, you can go right in here, and you can look exactly at the numbers and see you know, that it's off by a little bit, and you can actually change it directly in here. We're going to just uh, look in at the uh, height here. These are all uh, showing the height divided by a third. So if I go in to... Um, say this one right here, you see how it shows up on the drawing. And I'm going to make this instead of 333, 6666. And you can see that it moves this right up to two thirds of the way up in the object. And then I can go to uh, a location in here. This particular object is about two inches high. So I can actually put in a fixed amount here and not even use the formula. So I can just put in a 1. And that puts it at a height of 1. And uh, I could go in here and change all these formulas to, to fixed uh, numbers. And if I did that, then when I moved, change the size of the shape, it would relocate the connection points. This gives you an opportunity to get points exactly where you want them or, or to set fixed amounts for them fixed uh, locations. One other point uh, we'll look at here is the um, 
column here for the type that the connection is. Um, and so we'll go here and uh, take the fifth one here and right click it and change it to inward and outward. I'm going to take the fourth one and change it to outward. And then we'll go back to looking at our shape sheet. And you can see that over here in the type, the one that was the uh, outward got a type one, and the one that was inward and outward is a type two. So um, things aren't behaving quite right. It's possible to go in particular if you have a large network connection points. Make sure that all your, your types are, are correct. Basically, that's it. Uh, when you're done with all that, you can uh, close the shape sheet. That's uh, sort of a, a fine point in the use of uh, connection points. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.